The Discovery Lab Explore session is all about working with numbers and how they apply in the real world. It's a chance for the students to see where math exists, where they previously didn't, didn't really think to go. The students will walk away from this camp with, with a better understanding of how numbers make our world work. This is one thing I think about all the time, how in mathematics, the U.S. is ranked like 23rd or 24th in the world. Um, and I think a big part of that is because we don't, we don't put enough faith in our students. Students love challenge. It's interesting to see how they all differently interact with challenge, but everyone has a goal of, I want to be this level of challenged every day. And every day I see them push their boundaries a little more and challenge themselves. I think the unique thing about Discovery Lab's approach to having students engage with content is that students learn from their peers. I think there's been a variety of cases where we've been able to, uh, been able to take the learning and then actually push it to the students and ask them, where might this be used in real life? The application of these classroom learnings to the real world happens through um, just simply the collaboration. So it's a very kind of uh, open structure to the classroom where everyone, everyone can have their voice heard. We have a variety of backgrounds. You're going to have so many different perspectives, and I think they're able to each, each learn from each other. I love being part of the Discovery Lab team because it's so exciting to come into class every day and see students master new concepts. It's one thing for the students to experience making a project, whether it's building a bridge or uh, doing origami that relates to geometry, but it's another thing for them to be able to internalize the information and communicate it to other people. It's not at all like the traditional classroom model where the teacher goes to the board and, and teaches a lecture. Um, kids are more doing hands-on activities and th there is direction from the teacher from time to time, but it's, it's really all on them. If, if, I, if I teach something to them, it might, they might just lose it after a couple of weeks, but if they do it on their own and they really struggle through something on their own um, and truly learn it, they'll never forget it.